our top 10 most expensive vintage collection figures. All coming up on the next Action Collectibles and More video. What's up everyone, it's Michael here from Action Collectibles and More and today is TVC day. So today I'm gonna to take a look at the most expensive vintage collection figures on the market. I'm a big time TVC fan. I've been a collector since the beginning. I've been on and off. I started with TVC and went to statues and then uh, Hot Toys, Black Series. Now I'm really gonna concentrate on TVC. So I want to do a video because I'm, I'm still building my collection back up. I have a lot of figures on the wall. I have some still to hang. I have some still to buy. If you are a newer collector, this is gonna be a great video for you to see what's out there. Last year I did a similar video and just took a look at the newer vintage collection figures, the ones from like 2017 um, to 2022. Uh, now I'm gonna take a look at everything. Um, when I say everything, every wide release figure. I'm not gonna include any San Diego Comic-Con exclusives or really anything like that. No, no Yak Face that was in the, um, uh, in the sale barge and this Laces Crumb figure that was all fitted in that San Diego Comic-Con set, that $1,000 figure is not gonna be clued on this list. So anything that was uh, wide released, even over the internet on, on a Entertainment Earth or whatever website or in the stores. Um, and I, what I did was take the last 10 figures purchased from eBay, completed, sold listings, and did an average basically. So uh, this, this list could change tomorrow. And a lot of them are close, especially when we get down to number eight, number nine, 10. You know, a lot of these figures um, are close. You know, I, I included all the variations too, like the punch versus the unpunch, and the sticker, offer sticker versus not. So I kind of included them all. So the price is going to fluctuate between those and obviously condition too. Like you have a, you know, a badly damaged um, Commander Cody figure going for 80 bucks, where a mint unpunched one is going to be 175 to 200. So I'm not really going to show those deviations. I'm just going to really give you a list. And, and the average price. So anyway, before we get into that list, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, a lot of hunts on this channel. Um, definitely, you know, a lot of contests. I'm gonna try to do more videos like this, um, all coming up. And I'm gonna do a, you know, a collection tour in, in a few weeks. So, you know, make sure you subscribe to get those videos. And I really do appreciate it. And give this video a like. All right, so let's start right away. And um, enough of this talking and start with number 10 is VC34 Django Fett. So the average price of this figure right now is going for $130. And you're gonna see a lot of prequel figures on this list. Um, it, mostly because they're not really offering them anymore. I mean, obviously if you see any new figures coming out, it's from the original trilogy, the TV shows, or the um, Clone Wars. So um, Django Fett, the Attack of the Clones anniversary came up last year and this figure was not really released. And I don't believe it's going to be anytime soon. Um, this figure is offered in the unpunched version as well, and that price is on that figure obviously higher than the 130 price range. But uh, the average figure, if you're looking for a Django Fett figure, you're gonna pay around $130. So, uh, my figure is another prequel figure, and it's a VC 117 General Grievous. This figure is going for $135. This figure in the packaging looks amazing. Uh, I just love the way it looks. Uh, there's a lot of different variations of this figure. There's a sticker without the sticker, unpunched, and foil version. Combination of both those variations uh, average up to 135. So um, I did see a unpunched version just go off on eBay today for 300 bucks. Um, this That amount put this figure in this list because it wasn't. There was another figure on it, but um, and it actually jumped to number nine. All right, our number eight figure on the list is our first original trilogy figure on the list, and it's Grand Moff Tarkin. This figure is going for $145. A very rare figure. It was never really offered in the stores. Um, and yeah, it's been going up on price for, for the last few years, and it's kind of, you know, kind of holds steady for a while at the $100 range, but now it's at $145. All right, so number seven on our list is another original trilogy figure, and it's VC-112 Sand Trooper. This figure is going for $150, and I actually love this figure. I actually own it. I think it's a, a great card back. Uh, it looks awesome all together, and you can get this figure in the unpunched version and punched, um, but this figure does not come with a offer uh, like some of the older figures do. So um, anyway, that's our number seven figure in the list. Our number six figure is Darth Vader, and you'd be surprised what Darth Vader it is. It is VC-115. So this figure is 
a really kind of odd figure. I mean, the figure itself looks you know, kind of weird and everything, but you know, it's the only time they actually offered this this card back. You know, even even now when they're releasing some of the Return of Jedi figures and they're coming out with a new Darth Vader, which has just got released, um, they didn't use this card back, which is awesome because I think this figure is going to hold its value. Um, it keeps going up. Um, you can get this figure in an unpunched version as well as a punched. And yeah, the figure is going up, and, uh, and it's right now it's one hundred sixty dollars. So uh, fantastic! Another figure that I own. Um, thankfully, I, I always hold on to it because I love the cutback. All right, so our number fifth figure on the list is Commander Cody, and I was surprised to see this figure go go for this much money. Really, I've been you know hasn't been paying attention to the prices as, as much as I used to, and I started looking at. I'm like, wow, this figure is going for one hundred and seventy dollars. So this one was released in the foil version as well as the regular version. And it's unpunched or it's punched. Um, and I'll probably do a video showing the differences between the punch version of the figures and unpunched. Some of them are a really big difference. Some are not, but some is a huge difference. So, um, but anyway, the, the, the average price for Commander Cody is $170. And that's number five. All right, so number four, another surprise. VC09, the 2010 Return of Jedi Boba Fett. This figure was a, a variant of the Empire Strikes Back figure that came out in the first wave. So they used the same VC number on it and just, you know, changed the Return of Jedi title, the, the title of the movie, and put a different figure in there, an older figure that was from a different line. Even though they released a way better Return of Jedi figure last, about a couple years ago, um, big better figure, better car back, this figure still holds value. Um, it's a rare figure, that's why. Uh, it's going for so much, and a lot of collectors out there that, you know, want the variants, it, this figure is holding its, its value. Big time figure, big surprise, and number three in our list is another figure that's been climbing up the ladder over the last few months. It is VC thirteen Anakin Skywalker, going for one hundred and seventy five dollars. Again, so there's a lot of different variants of this figure. There's the Anakin Skywalker, and there's the same figure, same card back that says Darth Vader, right? That one is actually going for more money than the Anakin one, um, but the Anakin Skywalker comes in an unpunched version, which is very rare. And that figure is going for a like, tremendous amount of money. But anyway, the average price is $175. If you go with the Anakin Skywalker version, the, un the punch one, you'll probably um, pay a lot less than $175, maybe $125. But if you're going with the a punch version or the Darth Vader version, you're gonna pay more than the $175. So you gotta play around the numbers a little bit. And um, yeah, definitely it's a high figure. And it's gonna keep going up because Anakin Skywalker right now is a very popular character. And this figure, you know, they released an Anakin Skywalker last year, but it was from Attack of the Clones. Maybe when the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith uh, comes around, um, then we'll see this figure be released. Uh, but hopefully they do a better figure, because this figure isn't even that good. I, I mean, it's really not. Um, the card back is great, and the presentation is awesome. And if you're a, a big-time prequel fan, and you want the figures, this one is, is cost the one you want to get, because of it's the main character, right? All right, so up to number two. And this figure used to be the top of the the top of the line. Um, it's the VC one hundred and two Ahsoka figure. Hasbro re released this figure last year, um, so it kind of brought this figure down a little bit. And at one point, I was seeing this figure going for like four hundred, five hundred dollars. Right now, it's at two hundred thirty dollars. Hasbro re released this figure last year and brought the price down on this figure. The difference is the punch hole, right? So the unpunched version of this figure, really, the first was released has a different card back the, the back of it. Um, is the average price of the figure is going for $230. Uh, we get the other one, the new one that came out last year for $13. Uh, but again, if you're a variant collector and you want that unpunched version from the original release, this is what you're going to pay. But it did come down. I mean, it went down for $400 to about two, $230 now. All right, so our number one most expensive figure in the vintage collection is VC64 Princess Leia and Slave Outfit, going for $250. So yeah, at one point, this figure was hovering right under $100, but it keeps going up and up and up. And again, there's a lot of different versions of this figure. There's the Return of the Jedi version, Revenge of the Jedi version, and there's Unpunched, Punched in both titles. And some come with offers, some don't. So there's a lot of different variations, uh, but the average price of all those variations is $250. Um, right now, I think the Return of the Jedi Punched figure is probably the most expensive one. I think that's that's what I've seen over the, that's the pattern I've seen over the last few months. But um, so that is the most expensive figure on our list. All right, so that's our top ten list. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, let me know in the comments below. 
and I will put together a punched versus unpunched kind of price list or you know some kind of deviation because the prices are different between those type of variations but uh, that's it for the video right now um, I do have a toy hunt video coming up I think I'm going on a toy hunt next weekend so yeah so look for that to drop I, I have a contest going on like I said earlier it's there yeah, for the Dolph Mall, the Cone Wars Dolph Mall. Uh, check it out if you haven't and um, put a comment in that video, which is the, the last, uh, not the last video I did, the one before that. Put a comment there and you could um, enter to win that uh, figure and I might um, just do that contest pretty soon. So that's it for our list. Uh, let me know in the comments below what, what figure you have and what, what, what your thoughts on the list and what your thoughts on the prices and on VC in general. Um, but anyway, thanks again for watching guys. And like always, Go get yourself some action figures.